Hello, CNCHD here. In this video, I will script an AI from the start, from the beginning. I will show my thought process on each step what I take. And this video is there to help you script your own AI if you should struggle to script your own AI. It should give you some tips, some tricks, maybe a bit of a thought process, what you would like to do, what you don't understand. Maybe it helps you. This video is going to get long, so feel free to skip through um, and just watch the parts which are interesting for you. Anyway, let's start. So first off, I start on the 1v1 map. This is the Vendetta map from MP3. We can see him here. Really nice guy, MP3, big map creator. And I uh, took his map, edited a bit and made it um, workable for my own AIs and also edited it a bit for my AI tournament, which is currently being hosted here on this channel. So what we first need is a working player tab. We have civilians, skirmish, all the Americas and all GLAs. If you don't have these, go on add skirmish players go on the bottom and then the world builder will add all these existing uh, all these non-existing AIs to your folder. With that, you can continue with scripting your own AI. For this video, I want to script a China Vanilla. We can see a few AIs are already existing. These are the AIs of the contenders, of the uh, participants of my tournament. So I want to script a China Vanilla. So what do I need for the China Vanilla? Let's start with the basic layout and the basic stuff for the AI. I want to let him build stuff. So I start with a folder. I name it uh, HD for CNC HD AI. China V. Uh, like that. Or China V. Like that. Um, paperwork. So all the basic stuff, what they do what they don't do. Here's your folder. Also, I highly advise you get this world builder version. It's much better than the uh, older older world builder versions. To get that very easily done, go to Google, search for zero hour gen patcher. Should throw you on laggy.cc. Go to that website. Go here to, uh, you can also show it in English. Go here to uh, Genpatcher support. No, uh, don't go there. Um, download Genpatcher, there on the left. Download Genpatcher. Go there. And direct download from laggy.cc. Download it. Go to your uh, download folder. Oh yeah, I wanted to run music, right. Uh, just unzip it. It will say it is a virus, it is no virus, trust me on that. Just start. Took a while. Uh, actually, no, yeah, it's, it's fast. It's very fast. Just start. And here you can do several fling, uh, things. You can apply more fixes to fix some issues. I won't click here, but you can do that. And you can also get additional maps, but we want additional content. Here we have hotkeys. If you want to have different hotkeys, you can get the latest gentle update here, which I highly advise to do. And you can get the world builder. So I'm using this one, version 2.7 by uh, Adrian can also get version 2.2 by LF Mixery, or you just skip to the default world builder, which I highly advise against. So just use this, click on uh, install, and then you have the world builder. So that's just here for the world builder, which I'm using. Okay, so now I need to get the, uh, the, the, the cat out of my face because cat is here on the screen. I can't see a thing. 
Uh, no, it's better. Okay, yeah, lay down. Yeah, lay down. Perfect. He's laying now on my table. Perfect. Okay, so now here in the paperwork, we say that the AI can build. So I say HD, China V, uh, can build. I always do that for the structure. This way, in the drop down menus, I can see my scripts uh, directly. In case you have more scripts, like here all the other participants with their scripts, they have all their own layout. Here, I have my own layout. I can easily see my own structure. That's why I add this. You can also only write uh, this, can build. But if you work with multiple AIs, not so useful. So I do this, HD China V, or China Vanilla, and I say, can build. This is an active script, it deactivates upon success, it's activated for easy, normal and hard AI. You could also uncheck if you only want to have it for hard AI. You can check uh, these if you only want to have it for normal, or just for easy. It's always best to have it checked for all AIs. Activates every frame, it's okay. If true, you can let that in, it's uh, standard. If true, then you go to player. AI, um, here, build. Set the player to be able to build buildings. You click on this player, always click on this player, always do this. This player is able to build buildings, yes. You copy it, and we leave this player in there, yes. Is able to build units. This player, yes. Without this, your AI wouldn't be able to build buildings, wouldn't be able to build units. So we want to have that in. Okay, there it is. Now we give the AI a bit extra cash. Because there are some bugs in there. For example, he starts with 1k. Uh, he pays for the extra dozer here at the beginning, so his starting dozer he pays for it. Actually, 3CG said it's not that. Uh, so let's let's test that. I want to see if the AI has to pay 1k extra for the AI uh, for the dozer or not. Let's save. I want to see it because there are some bugs in the AI in the world builder in the game. I mean, there are several bugs. But I want to get rid of these bugs, so let's turn it off. Because I already have music uh, running. Uh, go to my AI Vendetta map. There. And have my China. And yeah, maybe another AI. Uh, okay. So normally the AIs should have 9k now. Unit lost. Let's see. 10k. 10k. Okay, so that got fixed. Uh, because in the game itself it says the AI has to pay for the first dozer with they which with they start. Um, this seems not to be the case. Maybe this was in patch 1.0. So 3CG actually was right here, um, they don't have to pay for their first dozer. So we don't fix that. Okay, good to know. Uh, Cat, you are laying on my keyboard. So let's go in here. And let's start giving them a bit of cash. Of course there's something I cannot fix yet. And I need to give them a bit of cash so they can fix that. So we go to HD China V uh, extra cash. If true, then player uh, set give or take from player's money. This player, always this player, gets. And now here comes in the calculator. Oh, come on, cat. Go. 
calculator. We have, uh, let's say, two supply dogs. Each supply truck costs three hundred dollar. So let's let's, let's uh, assume the AI goes for. It's a bit loud here, isn't it? That's better. Let's assume the AI goes for three supply trucks per supply dog. Let's say four. That's three times three hundred. And for two supply dogs, that's times two, 1,800. Let's assume that. So I give him 1,800 extra to fix that. I'm not touching the AI data, because I don't want that. And this way we can fix the extra supply truck building. Well, actually not fix, but give them a bit extra cash to fix this uh, stupidness. I know that FreeCG fixed that already by uh, implementing some scripts, but I don't have the time yet to look into that. So I will just go with this basic knowledge of me. Uh, cat one, one's in, one second. I apologize for that. I also cannot cut this out now because my Adobe is currently not working. My uh, video editing software. So I'm I'm sorry for this gap. Anyway, cat is in. So 1,800 extra. Okay. Um. Next next thing. We want to have an extra dozer. So let's go here to edit teams. And to China Vanilla and say add new team HD China V. Um, maybe it's good to structure it also by a team. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I don't know. Maybe team T for team. Okay, um, dozer. This is very easily done here. We have the name, we have quantity 1, so 1 on the battlefield. Skirmish China, home position, doesn't matter. Production condition, for us so far, doesn't matter. And I want uh, one dozer by China Vanilla. <coughs> there we go. We don't touch this stuff yet. Just stay in here and say okay. Okay. In the scripts, uh, I'm just thinking of that. Maybe someone else will watch your script and wonder why you're doing this. So here, extra cash, we we add in the description and say um, three hundred dollar per extra supply truck because. AI is stupid and builds more than two per supply dog to collect. Because AI equals dump, give more dollar dollar. Um, actually, 1800 is a bit too much. Because he actually needs to produce two. So we subtract 600 and give him only 1200. Okay. Now we want to build the first dozer. Also, regarding all this map, it's always good to have a bit of a master plan. So I have China Vanilla. I'm thinking, what can my a my enemies be? Here are my enemies on the right side. What strategies could I choose? I could go for a dual war factory. I could go for a barracks war factory. I could go for an early airfield. I could also go for fast tech. So early overlords, ECMs. 
then I think, okay, which strategy might be good against my enemies, which is not so good. Dual War Factory, good against everything. Barracks War Factory, good against everything. Early Airfield, might only be good against Super uh, USAs. So only USAs. Fast Tech, uh, China Vanilla, okay. Nuke, okay. And then all the USAs. This way you can determine which strategies you want to choose for your AI. Uh, for this video I'm not going to touch that because this is a bit more complex. But just to give an idea. You could also think, okay, when is my money getting collected? So after 3 minutes into the game, I want to build a third supply. I want to capture the oil. 4 minutes in and over 5k in money, I want to build a second war factory to spend all that cash. 12 minutes in, start the second economy. Okay, um, let's go back into the world builder. The next thing, I build that dozer. Before I build that dozer, I want to have a counter. That is something I forgot. A counter which uh, detects in which second of the game we are currently in. So, we have um, HD China V um, counter. Game time counter. So this thing is active. It doesn't deactivate itself, it's just active. It ticks every second. Detects uh, how far into the game we are in. So this is just active, it ticks, it ticks every second. This idea is by 3CG by the way, a big shout out to him, thanks for the idea. If true, we go into scripting. To counter, scripting counters, there we are. Increment counter, add one, two counter, um, HD, China, we game time counter, uh, counter uh, game time. Okay, add one to counter the loop. Okay, there we go. And for that thing to start, oh, we need to start let the start thing at zero. So we say copy. And count the C is here for starting it at, at zero. So deactivate upon success every frame. Um, set counter. Set. HD. China V counter game time. To zero. Okay. So now we start the game, our counter is at zero, the game time, and every second it ticks one up. So after 60 seconds we have a counter of 60. Okay, now that we have that, we have done the paperwork. We will now create a new folder and say HD China V. Um, teams. Here in the teams, we build our first dozer. So, HD, China V, first dozer. Every frame, easy normal heart, active, deactivate upon success. If, now here comes the counter into play. If counter, HD, China V, counter game time is equal to uh, or greater than greater than or equal to uh, actually let's say equ uh, equal to um, one so one second into the game 
then. Um, team, I think it's under team. Team AI, start building a team. There we go. Team AI, start building a team. I find this music a bit distracting, so I'm turning it off. So I'm searching for the team now, and here comes my structure into play. We have all these teams, and I want to have my team. I just want to have my team. My team is called HG China VT Dozer. I want that. Here comes the structure into play. <coughs> Start building team Dozer. Okay. So in theory, if we start the game, our AI should build a dozer. You can leave the uh, map open while you test things, and you can leave the game open while you test things. Let's go to AI Vendetta, China China, and see what our AI is doing. Should start a second the dozer. Has fallen. Yeah, there comes the dozer. Excellent, and you should have some extra cash, 10,200. Started with 11,200. Works. It should not, not build a second dozer. Uh, third dozer, I mean. Yeah, it stays on two dozers. That's exactly what I wanted. Looks good. Okay. Now I want to build uh, buildings. So, how do I do that? I go to a new folder. New folder, HD, China V, um, build order 1. Why do I call it build order 1? Because of my mind map. My mind map says I have four strategies. Four strategies I could choose. Dual War Factory, Barracks War Factory, Early Airfield, Fast Tech. So I assume the first strategy is Dual War Factory. That's why I call it Build Order 1. And here I say New Script. Again, same start, HD, China V. Um, build Order. One. Mm. Reactor. Uh, first reactor. And here you say build other one, or we do that in another script. So here, first reactor. Okay. If true, then. Now we need to move into the, I think, skirmish only tab. Build. Build a building tied to AI data dot ini. Yeah, I think that's the correct one. Build a building of type China structure power plant. Okay. Okay. And okay. Now we say to the viewer, okay, what's build order one? What's it what is that? Build order uh, description. BO1 description. Build order one means we build two War factories. <clears throat> now, later you know what is build order one. Okay, and there is nothing. If true, then just don't do anything. Just plain false. Null operation. Do nothing. Okay, we added the description, we added the first reactor. Let's test that. Can just restart after saving the map. And there we go. A reactor. And a dozer. Perfect. Also on the bottom. 
Perfect. Now that we have that in mind, we could try a different approach. So paperwork, uh, no, here, uh, build order. I want that on the bottom. Just click and drag and drop it. Click, drag and drop. This way I have the teams um, under paperwork, but above teams. Okay, so in here, first reactor. Uh, let's say I want to have it um, next to the dozer, not so far here. I don't want it here. I want it here, right next to the command center. Let's see if that's possible. So let's say, yeah, the link, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that was under player. Um, nearest specific team, yeah, that is the one. So AI player build nearest specific team. Have AI player again this player only this player build a China structure. Um, reactor, power plant, nearest team, uh, HD, China VT dozer. Okay. Now I don't know if that will work. If true, I mean, let's see. I think it will work with the uh, game timer. The counter is... Let's say at uh, equal to seven. Let's test that. You always need to test things. And I'm not so good with scripting, so let's just test. Test our way through. So normally, after seven seconds, it should build a reactor. Okay, it takes actually, it takes like 16 seconds, so do that with 16 seconds. Uh, China build order, first reactor 16, let's say 17. Save. And restart. Normally after 17 seconds, when the dozer is built, it should build a reactor here. Yes. Okay, that works. That really works, but it's not so good. AI has wasted 17 seconds and hasn't done anything with its dozer. That is not good. Very unprofessional. So we will keep it at the beginning. There are way around around that, but here you can see how it's done. That you don't want to react that here, but actually here. But yeah, let's just ignore that. And uh, let's go to actually. I mean, seventeen seconds are wasted, but it's not that bad. It's an AI after all. I don't know. Sometimes I'm really not sure what I'm doing here. Um, I don't want the reactor so far away, but then I wasted so many times. So yeah, let's just let's just keep this to true. If uh, game time is uh, at one, HD counter game time is at one equal to one. Or well, let's say zero. I mean, he has a starting dozer. Build this uh, thing here. So skirmish only. Build. Build a building. China structure. Power plant. Okay. Next is the supply center. We copy that, the script, and here I say um, supply centers. Active every frame, yes. If now we say 
if the player has a reactor. So we go to player, owns. Player currently owns an uh, kind of structure in area, has comparison unit type, has built an object type, yes. China, structure, power plant. So we select here player has built an object type and you select China power plant. Has been built by this player. Then we go to player. And uh, say built. Uh, okay, no, it's not there. AI. There, there we go. Player AI built near supply source. There we go. FAI, this player, built a China structure supply center. New supply source with at least mm, 3k available resources. Okay. And then we copy that. Supply center 2. Power plant has been built by this player. Uh, build near supply source of 29,000 or 20,000. Okay. And let's press OK, save the map, see what happens. Restart. So he goes for the reactor. That takes 10 seconds to drive there. Okay. Good to know that. Those are just stands there, that's a bit annoying. And now he builds two supply centers at this top supply. That is also stupid. That is stupid. But at least he builds. At least he builds. Um, so we... So what should we do? Uh, we could do a movement for the dozer which is in production. So let's say um, a new folder. HD China V. Um, behavior. Behave. Um, first doza. Okay, that was stupid. Let's let's just call it behave. Behavior. If you have a few or no, you I think so like that. Okay, in there, we do the script, your script. Uh, HD China V. Behave. Uh, first dozer movement. To sub. Anything you do with a behavior needs to be a subroutine. So check mark the subroutine. Otherwise, you cannot select the script in your team selection. So go for a subroutine, make it active. If script condition true, then team uh, move. Now we search for the right thing. Location. Uh, that is a waypoint. Okay, we don't want that. That looks okay. Team will move towards nearest blah 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 within area blah blah blah. Okay, we yeah, we choose that. So uh, let's say this team 
we'll move towards the nearest uh, civilian structure supply pile small within area uh, area map I'm not so sure how to call it. Um, there is the water grid which surrounds your map. There's also the map which surrounds the map. Uh, default Volta also surrounds your map. I'm actually not sure. I really need to think what area I should choose. So I just go for default water, whatever. And say OK. So what I mean with that is here this area on the left. The map area, the uh, I, I I added these in custom by the way. But if you start a new map, you will have a um, blue area surrounding your whole map. And I think it's called default water or something like that. I'm not sure. And with that area surrounding all the map, you can select it to say to your AI that it should do something within this area. This way, you can select the whole map, which is uh, nice. Okay, so here with your first dozer. We say as behavior when it's on create. That means behavior on create, it means, okay, behavior without new. On create, it will do something. And yeah, we actually want to do something. We want to have it move to the supply next to it. Let's correct the mistake here about the U. So let's check that. Let's save and check if it works. Builds the reactor. Takes very long because the reactor is so far in the back. Not so good. And those are moves. There we go. Moves to the supply. And now when the reactor is up. They should do something. Yeah, okay. No, that is not so practical. Let's see if we find a search for that, a uh, fix for that. So let's see. Build order one, supply center. With at least 3,000 available resources and with at least 20,000 available resources. So why is he building on the top? Let's say with at least 1k. And the other one at least... Uh, 28k? Maybe that fixes things? Let's restart and check. Goes for the reactor. Goes for the dozer. I think I can make it also faster. Uh, resolution log, FPS limit. Again does it. I wonder why. Uh, I had a fix for that in my toxin AI. Let's check my toxin AI. Toxin build order. Hmm. Ah, so I, I worked with the game time counters. And I worked with build nearest team. Alright. Yeah, building nearest the team could work. That could work. Let's try that. So build order one. The first supply center is built by the starting dozer. And the next one. You know, let's. This one. Um, built nearest specific team. FAI displayer. Built. Supply center. 
nearest team HD China VT Dozer. Now it should be fixed. Let's see. Here comes Dozer. Reactor is in production. There we go. This fixed it. My cat is hunting his own tail again, that's funny. Okay, now we can see the supply trucks actually in action. Was he actually collecting... I thought he was collecting 150 there. So he builds one extra. He builds... Uh, maybe another one extra? Yeah, there we have it. So two extra, which he doesn't need. Does he build more trucks? No, so he has three per supply tr uh, dock, which is... Stupid. So he needs to get 600 extra cash. The bottom one has no second supply center. That is interesting. But he also built two supply trucks. Okay. Uh, why is he not building? Let's watch. Why is he not building? So he builds the reactor. Drives to the bottom. Ah, because he's driving, that's why he's not building. Ah, oh, I actually have no fix for that. Yet. Top one works good, bottom one not so good. So these are the things which you need to try to work out. That's a bit stupid. Also, best case would have been that he goes to this supply. Ah, uh, these are the little things in the AI programming which I don't understand yet. There are players which are better than that. I'm not so good in that, so that's why this happens. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. But yeah, let's continue with this knowledge. I also need to drink something. Okay. Now we did we have this knowledge. I can rework the extra cash. So he doesn't get one thousand two hundred, but actually only Yeah, I mean that's right. He built he only pays six hundred for a truck, right? Yeah, he has to pay 600, so he gets two for, uh, 1,200 because he has two supply dogs and one extra one which he doesn't need, so 1,200, yeah, that makes sense. And we need to add description, 600 extra supply truck, uh, extra supply dog, yeah, okay. Now we need a production facility. Let's start with the dual war factory for the um, build order one. So we have these two supply centers up, hopefully. Ah, I have an idea. I have an idea how to fix this. So if China power plant has been built and this team is idle state is is there idle in there it is not status wet sold is there idle is there something like idle there is not deployed sold um I mean, if there would be something like idle, is idle? No, I have no idea. 
Not performing an order? Object status? No. No, no idea. Because then I could say uh, he has an if condition that he is idle. Ah, I have an idea, I have an idea. We say check idle in the behavior. Yes, yes, yes. Subroutine. Uh, HD, China V. Check idle. Behave. Check idle. If true, then set flag. We just set a flag. We say set a flag. HD China V. Uh, idle flag. <coughs> this way we can do it. To true. Yes. This is a subroutine. All right. And now in the team tab, China V, this dozer, behavior. So on idle, if he is idle, which he is only when he is standing still, then he checks if he is idle. There, there we go. He then activates the flag. Hey man, look, I'm idle. Do something, do something with me. Okay, so let's do okay. And in the scripts. In the behavior, no, in the middle all. In the first supply center. We say if flag. Idle is true. Then he builds the supply center nearest this dozer. Yes, this could work. Save and check. <coughs> yeah, these things take a lot of time till you figure out what to do. So he builds the reactor. Goes for the second dozer, drives to the nearest supply pile, builds the supply center, and now he builds the supply center. Yes, I fixed it. I fixed it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now he has two supply centers. Okay, this, this this is the weird thing. This is the weird thing. The weird box. So why is he driving his supply trucks to the right? Why is he so? Why is he driving to the left? Why is he doing this? This is stupid. So these are the bugs you need to cover with the extra money, because this is just this is just stupid. Stupid amount of stupid. He now has three supply trucks here on the left. He has. Four on the right. This is just so stupid. So you normally have to give him 600 extra for this stupidness. Anyway, it looks good. He also four supply trucks. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Okay, now that we have the economy working, I want this AI to build tanks. Because tanks are the bread and butter of the China. So we go to the scripts. Build order one. Um, let's uh, copy that so I don't always have to type that and say. Um, War Factory. One. If and now I can start thinking where he builds the war factory because my starting dozer is not in a team. I cannot build near that dozer. So 
that is a problem. Let's test. Always test. So we have if true um, is if player has built a building. Owns. Uh, owns. Has built a China structure supply dock. Supply center. Has been built by this player. Okay. Then skirmish only build uh build type of China war factory. Okay. And let's double that or double the war factory and see what happens. Always test these things. See what happens on both sides of the map. So we save the map, we restart. And we watch what happens. <clears throat> okay, that works perfect. That works perfect. Builds a war factory here on the top. Builds a war factory here on the bottom. Top, bottom. Now this is a bit of wasting time. This is wasting time like he builds it like that. Uh I mean it works, but it's wasting time. Let's try another method. Let's go here to skirmish build order. Copy that so we don't uh, lose it. Deactivate. Right click active. This way you can deactivate. So we this way we have a backup. So let's try another approach. Supply center has been built, yes. Then Player AI. AI player builds nearest specific team. Yes, I want that. This player built a war factory. Nearest team um, HD Dozer. <clears throat> let's see if this works. And let's double that. Why not? Boom. Let's see what happens. I wish I could make it faster, but my laptop is not running so fast. It's, it's a lagging laptop and you probably can hear him in the back. The ventilator is very loud. So let's see what happens. That all looks good. Good, and now let's see what happens with the second war factory. Yes, this this is what I want to see. I mean, this those are driving now here to the left. That is not the thing I want to see. That is also not so good. So that worked perfectly. That one, not so perfectly. I mean, that is also not very practical. So half of it worked. Let's change that. We know that one is too much, so we delete it. But I still want a second war factory. So let's say skirmish only, build. Build building tied to AI data. China, structure, war factory. Let's see what happens then. Safe. What happens then?
If we would be very smart, we could also sell the CC for extra 1k cash. But I have no good solution for that. I know who had a good solution for that, which is BKR. But I don't want to reveal his script. Because that would show his other team colleagues in tournament how he did it. And I don't want the others to see it. So that's why I'm not showing this here in this video. But this looks good. This looks much better than before. He has a war factory there. A war factory here on the top. I mean, this one is not so good. This one, perfect. Here, perfect. This one, perfect. I mean, I like it. Command center should be gone for 1k extra cash, but still, good. Very good. Me like, me like it. Now that we know this, we can go to tanks. Now it gets beefy. Now we do war. So, let's say tank. China. I want tank. I want tanks. That one is fun. So let's say HD China V teams. Um, I want. How much do I want of it? Uh, let's say I want 15 for the test. Priority, whatever. Do whatever you want here with the priority. And one. One, I just want one tank, but with the quantity of 15 on the map at total. And I want a Gatling tank. Gatling, yes, yes. Good, very good. Uh, Gatling. Gatling cannon. Or you would say it in an anime. Gatling cannon. Uh, Gatling. And I could say Gatling flank. Okay. A cat just. Got my blue snowball into the laptop. Yeah, good cat. Uh, copy. Center. And copy. Uh, front. You have three way paths. Flank, center, front. Left, middle, right. That's why it's called this way. Now we need to tell the Gatling where he moves. So we go to scripts, behavior, and say where this Gatling should move. The script, subroutine, very, very important for a team. Always subroutine. Behavior. Gatling a flank If true, yes, then team moves set to move uh, uh, to follow a path. But we want to have it for skirmish. There's also a skirmish one in there. Let's go to skirmish only move and uh, follow. Have this team. They always this team always approach the enemy using path flank. As team falls. Okay. Save. The same thing for the center. Approach on the center. 
And now for the front. The back door. Ah oh, man, I'm so, I'm so stupid. Back door is the name. Not front, but back door. Back door. Back door. There we go. So flank center back door. And you also need a production condition for the team. Otherwise, the team will not build. So, what do we need? We need a new folder. New folder. China V. Uh, prod cont. Production condition. Here we go. Uh, I want that above the team and the behavior. So, prod condition. New script. And I call it first wave. Subroutine. Always a subroutine for teams. And that is prod font or just PC. Production condition. First wave. If game time, we use the counter for that. If the HD game time is at so uh, let's say equal to uh, b b b b b uh, I don't know if two then oh yeah right um first we need to say a set a flag I'm sorry uh so subroutine out First, we need to have a flag for that. So, if is two, then set a flag for first wave. China uh, v so HD China v flag first wave. <coughs> Too true. This way, we can deactivate the first wave if we want. Okay, and copy it. Make this one a subroutine. And say a flag HD flag first wave is true. Then do nothing. Um, wasn't there a do nothing thing here? Debug do nothing? Null operation, okay. Okay, now we have set a production condition and we have told the team what to do. Edit teams. Flank, center, back door. So this is how it works. You go to flank. You set a production condition. Otherwise, your Gatling cannon, uh, your Gatling tank won't build. So we have here a few subroutine scripts. Production condition first wave. Yeah, we want that. And we want it on on create that it drives to d flank so hd china v behavior gatling flank could have also called it just flank i mean that would have been way easier and i would i will do that yeah that's easier because then i can also use it for dragon tanks listening outports and other tanks so let's go to China, behavior, as you can see I'm not good with scripting, I always need to change things, but that's normal, I mean that's normal, nobody is perfect.
Cat, stop it. Back door, yes. Go back to teams. China. Plank. Behavior. If he doesn't find the script because he renamed it, it will mark it with uh, with a star here on the left, as you can see. There's a little star there. And I want to have the HD... Oh, cat, come on! Annoying cat. Uh, flank. Okay. And Gatling on the center. We could also set it aggressive. Yeah, let's set it aggressive. On create HD behavior center. Aggressive, yes. The flank one also aggressive. Backdoor one behavior also aggressive. On create, go to Vector. Very nice. Now the center and the vector also need the production condition. Production condition, first wave C. Yes. Also here, yes. And also this one, HD. Production condition first wave C. Yes, you can check that here on the trigger here on the right side trigger. That's the production condition The dozer doesn't have a production condition because we are building him via the Script, but these tanks they need to be built um, Here by uh, the team building automatically 15 of the thing and yeah, just spam these things out Next to the Gatling we want uh, a dragon tank. So copy. And say dragon. Dragon tank. Change that to China. We kill dragon. China tank dragon. Yes. Same behavior. Aggressive, yes. For the center as well. Dragon, center, <coughs> a dragon, yes. Okay, and for the back door, copy. Dragon Backdoor Yes Dragon Yes So now we have 15 dragons on the flank, 15 dragons on the center and 15 dragons on the back door. Same for the Gatlings That's a very heavy spamming Now I want also um, Battlemasters but he would build these things against an infantry. That is something I don't want. So let's keep it on Gatlings and Dragons. Save it. Now let's put it to a test against a real AI. I have a couple to choose here. Let's say we choose the one of uh, BKR. That is a China Demolition. Let's test that. How will my China perform against the GLA demolition? I want to see it. So here's my China vanilla on the top. A warrior has fallen. The demolition of BKR on the bottom. Perfectly working AI. My AI completely new on the battlefield. How will he perform? I really like this command center seller, man. I really like this. So professional. 
So my AI is going for the dual war factory, looks perfect. It's very good. This AI is tunneling like crazy with a demo trap there. And now we should see, yes, when the crane moves, a tank is being produced. Both supplies? Ah, okay. My AI has money problems, that's why he's not producing from this war factory. But there's a Gatling. First Gatling on the battlefield. Here we can see RPGs going into the garrisons. Gatling to the left, Gatling to the right. Dragon tank. Gatling attacks. Ah, uh, almost goes to the demo trap. Not sure what he's doing. Okay, now he's, now he's stuck. This one goes into the suicide. There comes the dragon. Could go for the building. Could maybe do a flame wall, but I'm not so good in doing flame walls. Actually, I'm not capable of doing flame walls. Would be really nice to see a flame wall here, but he's not doing so. Sadly. Okay, now this sucks. They are not doing anything anymore. Meanwhile, terror attack happening on the top. Yeah, really nice terror attack, man. Okay, we need to fix that. So let's go here to the script. I think I know why they are not doing anything anymore after the first attack. It could be because of here this thing. Deactivate upon success. We uncheck this. Uncheck. Then they should move. Also we had a problem that the Gatling on the right side was stuck and he was not doing anything anymore. For that I built in a hunt script. Hunt script is very boring, very unprofessional, but I built it in. I want it in. Behavior hunt. Hunt scripts you see very often in pretty much every AI because they are so easy to implement. So if true, then this team starts hunting. It's super easy to script. You cannot do anything wrong with hunting. So this player begins hunting. Super simple. And here in the teams. On the Gatling and on the Dragon. Also, let's uh, shut Discord off to reduce the amount of uh, processing here. In the Behavior tab, if the unit is idle, then go Hunt. Hunt. That for all Gatlings. An idol. Go hunt. Okay, building that in for every team is a bit annoying, but luckily we don't have so many teams at the moment. Uh, okay, that was the wrong team. The wrong tab. Was it correct for that one? Yes. Yes, okay. Idle HG hunt. Now you can see how easy it is to navigate through when you name it correctly. We have all these HD scripts. I know that these are my scripts because you have so many scripts. This way, because of correct naming, I know exactly what I should pick, where to search it. Hunt, okay. Dragon, center, behavior, idle, hunt. I just pre press the button H and it will throw me to my own scripts. Behavior, idle, HD, hunt. Okay. And now we check it again. Now we should totally destroy this AI. Let's check again.
Uh, yeah, uh, sell my CC. Do not hurt me. I will obey. A warrior has fallen. They are defeated, I know. More factory as usual. And now let's see if the team building is working correctly or if they're getting stuck here again. Okay, Dragon Tank. Gatling to the right. If they go idle, they should then hunt. And he just spams these things out. Uh, oh, almost on the damage trap. Goes on the damage trap, of course. Magical damage trap. Oh, that was that, that is going to be a nice one. Nice. That is a nice attack here. Now a flame wall would be really cool to see. Oh, gets the worker. Nice deny here. Yeah, that's a bit problematic. I have no defense for that. I mean, the Gatling goes here, but I have no defense scripts yet. Lucky that my tanks were in here to defend. What my AI is doing here? What is my AI doing here? Uh, stupid shit. Okay. Oh, one Gatling comes for the rescue. Lucky me. But yeah, I need some... Scripts. But so far, r looking really aggressive here by my AI. Just total carnage. Ah, that was nice for the terrorists. Okay, he keeps on building. Dragon comes in, Gatling comes in, just keeps on producing. His money is on 3k. He could, he could build a third supply center now. Could afford it, or he could go for Aldrix. Nice terrorist. Yeah, BKR under, under heavy pressure here. I would say test successful. 3k cash, that means I should uh, build more stuff. Let's test it against another AI. Uh, so far, Anthrax AI was really hard to beat. So let's put the infantry in. And let's put my China on the bottom for the testing. We saw the, bot we saw the top script, now we see the bottom script. Let's see how that works. Unit lost. Infantry is very strong. He also rushes very aggressively. <clears throat> that works perfect. I also like how Anthrax is doing the dual supply center build. He just builds it here on the right side. That's just very clever. Anthrax AI works on every map. My AI sadly only works for the supply piles at the moment because of the scripting. Also the supply truck building here is really stupid. Wonder if Anthrax has the same issue. No, doesn't look like it. Anthrax fixed it very nicely. Anthrax is really good in scripting. Okay, Anthrax already attacking me here. I have not a single unit out except for this dragon. So hopefully something will be out. Okay, when I am building something, where is my unit? There's a dragon. That is really sloppy. Also the dragon not defending himself. Sloppy. There comes the dragon, but way too late, way too late. Here we can see how the hunt work 
The uh, hunt script is working against a really good AI by uh, Anthrax. Not performing so well. I'm rebuilding the wall factory, that is good. Going for the supply trucks, nice. Anthrax has no defense here. He has no script to defend that. That is getting his toast. Dragon tank almost got the building there. Got the supply trucks. That is an expensive hit for Anthrax, who is on all the econo uh, economic uh, own age here. He's going for a second barracks because he has the money. He has on he's on 2,600. That dragon is wasted, sadly. Those for aggressive barracks. Building the Chinese Empire. I just test out what I can improve here. What things I need to improve. Always test these things. So far I really like how my AI is spreading out, constantly attacking on the right and on the left and on the center. Cleared out the building, denied the oil capture, very nicely done. Anthrax on four supply centers, oh my god. Luckily I'm keeping the fourth one under pressure. Yeah, Anthrax under so many uh, attacks at the moment. So how's my cash performing? I'm sitting on 1k, that is not good. Really need a better script for that. I destroyed the supply center here, that's good. Breaking through here on the left with dragons. Anthrax under real pressure here. Comes in with Dozer army, but I'm there to deny the buildings. Dragon on the rampage. Yeah, I really need to expand, man. I need to expand. I'm on 500, I'm spending the cash very nicely. But this supply center will soon run out and I'm dead, then my AI is dead because he's not expanding, he needs to expand. And this will clear out the Gatling. Or not. And this is a bit stupid, okay he's defending himself, that's nice. This Gatling should attack by trucks. Again denying here, that's a waste of cash here for the AI of Anthrax. Who's broke? Really broke. Ooh, I'm breaking through to the bunker actually. I'm <laughs> getting in front of the barracks, that's nice. Ooh, wow, that's only something you see from pro players. That's nice, that AI is really nice. Yeah, the Gatlings will not break through to the command center, no way. Bunker still holding. That Gatling is not defending himself. Yeah, my, my AI is now running out of money. The AI of Anthrax will now come into play with the advanced scripting. Really good I'm that I'm destroying these supply trucks. That also puts Anthrax under a bit of pressure here regarding the money. Oh, bunker is gone. Now I can break through here to the tank hunters. That's nice. But now I'm broke. I'm now I'm really broke. Just sitting on one supply center, that's not good. Against one garrison building there now. Oh that sucks. Yeah, that hurts. Now Anthrax will take over. Now I'm dead. My mindless spamming is not holding against that. Yeah, that's a waste of Gatling. But I really put him under pressure here, man. He's not rebuilding the supply center. Yeah, that's at once scripting. Yeah, with just one supply center, you cannot break through. Dragging through the left, through the right. 
here comes the quantity into play because I have 15 of the dragons on each flank on each side he's building these constantly till he has reached 15 of these yeah go for the tra uh, supplies and that's good that's good yeah break the break the economy I'm just leaving this recording running so that Anfrax can also see his AI in play because he might want to see this to improve his own AI. That dragon will come in useful. Nice. So both AIs I think are currently on... Okay, he's on two supplies, I'm on one supply. Ah, uh, yeah, that's stupid. He's not going again for the command center, that's stupid. That's really stupid. Anfrax AI very clever. He goes for the protect. Oh yeah, that's failing. I got the barracks, but that's pretty much it. Also my supply at 11k, almost depleted. Barracks, barracks, barracks. Free barracks, man. Wow. Third supply center again going up. I think I might get that one here. And it's wasted. I think Anfrax will own me now. He will own me. can see how much he's spamming. This is just advanced spamming here. He's on free supply centers now. He's getting in the cash. 3k already. Fourth barracks. Yeah, now he just stomps me. Nothing you can do with one supply center. Yeah, that dragon tank is just driving away. <laughs> oh yeah, Anfrax also has an oil. That's helping him a lot. Yeah, my AI is toast. Just one war factory. Still push pushing through on the left. Running against a huge wall of infantry. Oof. Infantry keeps spamming, goes for the fourth supply center. Wow. One, two, three, four. Lots of barracks. Another barracks. So many barracks. There are no more supplies here. Yeah, well done. Well done, Anfrax. Really well done. Carpet bomb. Super well done. So yeah, by watching these we things you can defeated. see how actually your AI performs, what you can improve, for example, build on the defense script, let the AI expand, um, build in a bit more variety, not just hunt scripts, because hunt scripts are boring to watch. But yeah, this is a really good action so far. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to script the basic AI. And everything else is just improving on that. Leave a comment of how you uh, liked it if you want. Um, I hope this helped and I hope you didn't sleep in. But you have the option to skip through and forward. I don't have the option. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Goodbye.